What is up, everybody? My name is Alex and Look here. So, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wizard 1. This time, we're going to be taking on the Portico Dungeon, uh, which is a, one of the well, well, second or main dungeon of Celestia uh, after the, uh, well, Stellarium. So, anyways, we've got some things we need to tell you about, and uh, I guess I'll just explain most of it. But, um, Luke is still here, if you haven't wondered. But if you're yeah, wondering. I'm here. But anyways, after episodes 50 and 51, we didn't have, it was basically just my audio. So yeah, it was only picking out my reason, voice. It, it, was, it happened during, like, because during the time we recorded this, it was like March and I was in my Diablo 3 session. So like I would make it so my audio didn't get recorded. And eventually it somehow messed up fraps to, to like be like, oh, you will not get audio recorded. So like, so then my audio was like muted for the entire Thing. The whole world, in fact, the whole Celestia. And is this is why that happened. Basically, we went. We decided that day that we we're gonna beat Celestia because we were like, we got to like the, we did the dungeon like early in the morning, and we we're like, okay, let's just finish this piece of shit. And um, so basically, we finished it, and it turns out like four months once we started to edit this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's four months. Four months we started to edit this because we've had so much videos we had to upload. You can probably see why now we had a schedule going so we could last out. But anyways, so we just realized the whole videos were screwed up. And since this is an MMORPG, you cannot redo shit. There's no save file. Yes. No. So, so it just saves automatically as you go through. So you cannot, like, let's say you're doing, like, an RPG game and you have a save file. You cannot you cannot go back to one of your old saves and just redo it. Yeah, so we figure instead of, instead of, we, we, I, we originally thought it was only going to be those two episodes, but then I looked at the file earlier this morning when after before we did this, and it turned out that it was the entire world. So yeah, we figured that it'd be much better just to take the time to post-commentate than have you guys listen to five more episodes of just part of the conversation. Yeah, because a lot of people said that you didn't like it, and yeah. when I posted, my and I had a very similar problem doing an LP, but we recorded too much and my space couldn't handle it. So yeah. I like how to use Luke's footage a lot. And a lot of people were asking me why that why that happened. Like if they came to my channel, they saw Luke's videos. They were obviously going to just click away, but I mean, I yeah. didn't have a choice. The so. only reason for that is because since I have like like four terabytes of space, I can record a whole bunch at once. But I yeah, and, like, then we, and then when we, we got into such a big phase with the recording a few months ago because it was spring break. Well, we had a bunch of snow days, and we got a lot of shit done, so it was yeah. like, it, it just, we didn't work with the space all that well, and that was our fault, but, yeah, it's very, like, that's a minor problem, because we, we have Luke's footage, but now that I didn't have any of that footage, it's kind of like, we can't post my footage, we have to redo this whole thing, so, yeah. That's basically what we're trying to save from this, and we just got to post commentate. So. So you just know that for the rest of. Okay, the, like the commentary for the rest of, of the game is fine, but for the whole of Celestia, the my the entire audio is screwed up. So for the rest of Celestia, you'll hear post commentary. Yeah, we just started recording Zafari a few days ago, so. And, and, we, did, and, we, and we did a bonus episode, which will be after Celestia ends. So stay tuned for that. I think you guys can already know what that is just by <laughs> thinking about it, but. If you've played the game before, but um, which I'm pretty sure all of you have, I'm not gonna doubt that. Yeah, I so, mean, everyone watching probably has probably yeah already played. probably plays this game, and if they're playing along with us, basically just watching the video, see as you go, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But um, that's pretty much the whole point of this, just to show you guys how to get stuff done fast. But um, I mean, yeah, like uh, we've only edited we we did an entire mouse here in like what. 16 hours or so. Uh, we re we really only like edited out collecting, and I think we had pretty good collecting, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, the server we're in uh, is pretty good for that stuff. If you guys want to ever like, try to find us, if you guys ever want to find this recording, I'll just say up right now, you can usually find us in uh, Realm Troll and anywhere in Zafaria right now. So. Troll is our home. Troll. Yeah, like if we're recording, you're going to be in Troll. And if and if I'm just randomly playing something, I'll probably be in Troll as well. So. Troll is love. Troll Pretty much, I mean, except that's an ogre in the video. But <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk crap about it. But oh, also, I want to point this out. If you're ever looking for pearls, I know you can get golden pearls from the bazaar now. But you, a long time ago, you could farm this place for pearls. Really good place to farm. Uh, like before, before. Oh yeah, and there's a statue here. Yeah, you could have picked that up. I think. I, I think I already had it. I think it's bound to account. 
Yeah, I think it is, dude. I don't. But there's actually a glitch where if you double tap, if you triple tap X, uh, the second you pick it up, then you can get two of the same statue. Yeah, it's pretty weird. And notice how you just automatically level up from that dungeon. So we did not do any of these dungeons beforehand. But yeah. oh yeah, I think we did chancel it to get to forty five or something. Yeah, I think you did. I think we did do the chancel because like you you didn't want to see the number forty four for like two months or something. No, it wasn't that. I think it was like. I think it was because I knew we were going to probably get wrecked if we didn't have better gear or something. Oh, yeah, and, and having 45 allowed us to wear the crown gear that we had. Yeah, and that basically saved us, in my opinion. <laughs> we probably would not have survived Winter Test. Cause it yeah, because Luke had more resistance than I did, and I had to stick with 35 gear for most of Celestia until, and Winter Tusk, and Winter Tusk. I did I mean, that, too. I've noticed, though, that we stick with the gear that we wear for, like, 10, 10 uh, levels and then we stick on and then we go to the next gear. So. I probably used my gear more than you did because you always you had the upgrade at 45. I didn't. Yeah, that's because I had crown gear that I bought in like 2008 or something. Yeah, dude. Like, I think I got rid of mine. <laughs> Pretty sure you I did. You never get rid of crown gear. Like, I, put them in a vault or something. Well, didn't I like delete my account or something before too? So. No, but you deleted all your wizards and that. I think I actually deleted all my items before that as well. <laughs> so, what they need, what, what Kingsdale needs to do is, even though they'll probably never do it because they're so greedy, but it's like, uh, like make it so if you buy a gear once, it's free for the rest of your ca characters. Yeah, they're greedy. They probably wouldn't do that, but it would be a really nice idea just in case you ever lose an item, which they're usually not willing. Yeah, I mean, to I mean, like you know, you know the old Batwing cloak the old bat wing thing that is no longer yeah you can never get yeah i yeah, i used to have that but i deleted the wizard that had it by mistake and since they have no recovery system in place it like screwed me over yeah like, that's how what i that's what happened to me and i remember uh, i bought a pyre 101 bundle don't ask why i was in a pyre 101 phase <laughs> and, and of course you consequently has not played it in, like, no and yeah I, I didn't play because i just got shit tired of their support like so like if you ever contact Kings All Support, I really feel bad for you. Like most of the time, they will not even try to help you. So yeah. Blizzard, on the other hand, they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna help you." Yeah, dude, you can call them. They'll answer. They'll fix your problem right away. If you contact like, Kings All, you have to wait 24 hours, and usually you get a bullshit response. Like, it's like it's like a copy paste response from. A it's bot. usually a bot from every other response that they've ever made. So. <laughs> Yeah, like it, like if you even try to submit a response, like, oh hey, thank you, we'll take this in right away and consider it for and like give it consideration or like. And um, I remember, well, as I was saying about the Pyro One Bundle thing, I well, I was I redeemed the items I had. I had did not have a full, I did not have a full bag. So when I when I accepted my items, it was complete bullshit. This but is did what they, happened. Didn't they end up giving your items back though? Yeah, they ended up giving my items back, but they said, oh, this is a one time thing. You're not gonna get them back next time. <laughs> And that's actually kind of bold because hey, at least because I spent thirty bucks on that thing just to get some gear and shit. And Kings Isle doesn't. And basically, what they re what they should realize is I spent money for their fucking game, and <laughs> and like, but they also don't realize is that the that, when, when you when you pay that card, it's basically like a mini contract saying, okay, you got this money, you give us the money, this is exactly what you're gonna get. And if they don't give you what you got your money for, what you gave them money for, it's basically like they stole from you. So like exactly. So I mean that. That's basically a rip off of the, like the thirty bucks you paid to them. So, yeah, so it's like yeah, they they're not really willing to fix it. They're, they're really not willing to fix any of your stuff. We we need Malastair King's Isle back. <laughs> yeah, for real, we do. Cause that shit, they actually fucking helped you and everything. Yeah, I miss that those days. Cause like they, it everyone was actually more friendly and mm -hmm. it wasn't as bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And I bet a lot of people watching probably didn't even play during that amount of time. Isn't this like the insane frost fight we did? Yeah, yeah, the insane frost fight. I just saw it did 1,700 damage. Yeah, that was, that was fucking <laughs> hype. And that's the end of that dungeon. Yep, so I guess, are we almost done? Is it almost over? Uh, yeah, it's almost over, basically. Just yeah, we have like a minute. That. There's like a minute. Yeah, left. I think we talked to the person that we ended off, so. Yeah, you talked to the person, we put the moon relic into its little thing, and then we ended off. Yeah, so I guess we'll talk about the King's All support in a later, in a later thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we, this sure turned into a rant video, didn't it? Dude, yeah, that turned into a rant video. <laughs> so guys, at least we got, uh, just to let you know, we'll be pretty much keeping you in base with what's going on with the post-commentaries for the next few, few episodes. Yeah. So if you ever think, oh, they're not post-commentating, well, 
we're, we're saying every episode we are. So just in case anyone missed an episode, they'll know what's going on. Yeah, so, it's just that the audio quality is too bad to make you guys suffer through five Yeah, and I don't, we don't really want you guys to go through a boring-ass video, and a lot of people probably wouldn't put as much work into that. Yeah, so, yeah. That, so, so the video is over now, guys, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. We hope you enjoyed, and bye-bye.